Aquarius singles welcome doing the singles read here we're gonna meet your soulmate I call this with eight cards um, and I'm just gonna describe the one that's right for you so it's an uh, always positive read I'd say if uh, I've already started this so bear with me on that I really don't like to scratch a reading that's a technical problem <clears throat> so um, I probably always lose something. Sometimes you gain something. I don't really count the bottom of the deck on this reading, guys. Because um, I really want to look at what's here when I do this. And I pull eight cards. Two for the emotional. Two for intellectual. Two for the love and uh, sexual nature. And two for the what you call core values and lifestyle, I call. So the four pillars. Four different aspects. And when I look at the emotional aspects, I also read the top cards as more conscious energy of awareness in the bottom cards are more of the unconscious energy and flow might be beneath the surface for someone all of us know and so i see the moon here and i see here the four of cups is the sun i feel like this is a leo sun Not exactly what you would want to get with cups and a six of cups here. But I think this is someone has a Leo sun, and with the six of cups, I think it's in the seventh house. Which makes them aqua rising more than likely. You know, you could have split house, but I there's a chance, right? So aqua rises sets of houses and then um so we would have a Leo sun um, that's acting like uh, it's got to be in a water house and it's got to be uh, could be conjunct Neptune there's going to be something like that you got the fool here too that works for that too I'm still thinking about the moon because um, I think you've got a fire moon too and I think it's Aries I think this is a very unusual person there um you know, I'm about four plants Sagittarius. I mean, I have I feel like I'm emotional now. Um, I don't know, maybe not to uh, somebody. I got a Capricorn moon. I mean, I got a Cancer moon though. I mean, that helps. But um, so this is someone. It's it's classically comes to mind. I'm thinking these people say astrology. I'm not saying they say this. Uh, they may well be into the esoterics with the Fool and Six Cups here. You know, even to soulmates. You know. But they might say, well, astrology, you know, I, here I am, this Leo, and I should be all like this, they say, and I'm not, you know, because maybe they don't really act like a Leo. Um, so, meaning, you know, they might not exactly light up the room. They might come in a little uh, more uh, empathic, too. And you would think with fixed fire here, and then even angular fire if they have this Aries moon you know but um, you would think that somebody could be very fast and triggery but no it's um, so Aries moon um, that's challenging me so that would be um, the 10th house like the 12th and that would be the uh, yeah it'd be like their 11th house right you have Pisces so um, I kind of get this it, it's like they're very concerned about other people and how they interact with other people so it's that part of Leo maybe I could see them having a big heart really caring really caring really maybe wanting to help help people is kind of a basic sense um, you know God, with the fool and the six of cups my, I'm going to ask for clarification on both of these because this is always working together here. It's something deep going on with the Fool. It's um, King of Swords. I was going to say, I could even see with the Fool and the Six of Cups um, that they have, uh, and they, I'm not sure they would be aware of this, but they may be. But I feel there's a, this guidance that they have. Um, ancestral angel um, this would be this king of swords so 
in life probably an air sign you know but also someone probably a male uh, here I would read the gender in this because I think that's what this is indicating um, clarifying this guys and um, yeah they might know about this they might know about this this would be somebody you know in life they were commanding they were probably prosperous um, known to be kind of strong or solid or something like that this king of swords figure and i think that someone that's with them for some reason i want to say that's really strong with the joker you know i get to like there's look at you oh man this three of wands how there's so much feeling in this so much longing too in this moon in this aries moon and this could you know an aries moon you could say as an astrologer i might could say oh it's i want moon your moon is how you, what you need it's like i, I want it's like uh, everything would be immediate you know emotions might be felt very strongly very me like they're kind of a little bit could be overwhelming with the fool there too i'm thinking you know uh so something they learn like be real hard as children you're mostly the moon but then as they get older um they're balancing it out here hmm that's like a fascinating person we have here, I think, uh, Aquarius. Um, there's something about this person they have that they might be an Aquarius too, personality. You could try, I mean, I'm so fascinated with this. Look into their either grandfather, could be a female. I don't know, I don't think so. Cause you could go back a few generations either. I think like, I think sometimes they even skip and maybe you don't even know them. But they knew your parents, right? And, you know, they're in spirit. So, you know, right? I, I think, uh, um, so there'd be like this uh, uh, way about them too, where at the same time, I think it'd be a little conflict for them even. At the same time, they're sort of grounded and they really care, they're really listening. And they're probably gonna, with this six of cups under the um, four of cups, I mean, they're really gonna give you you know, it's a ten of cups you know they're really going to give you the feeling that there's someone that cares so you walk away from them uh feeling like wow this is someone that really cares about me cares about what i'm saying so that would be kind of how you interact with them you'll perceive them as being this very caring person you know um now let's look at their this very caring person's sexual nature the death card coming in here and um the five of wands and their love nature so we have a leo um, in the death here you really couldn't have a, i gotta think they have scorpio so in this case the death could be their mars and um the five of wands would indicate um a venus leo venus um, and then they darn well could have uh, Mars and Scorpio. Um, and this, you know, I was going to say, man, this person's like so complex. Um, and with this Scor Mars and Scorpio energy, um, there's a great uh, bit of power like underneath. And there's probably layers to this person that... Um, I'm getting the feeling of my ex-wife for 25 years um, that uh, no matter until they die, no matter how much they love or how much someone cares or how sensitive you are, there's going to be parts of them that no one's ever going to access. There's layers and layers and layers. Maybe that's true for everyone, but they got the feeling that's going on here. Um, now you know they could be square here in this fixed energy. Sorry, mosquitoes. I know they don't get the peace and love treatment. But <laughs> um, so you know this uh, energy for them is a little bit of the contradictions for them. I imagine um, they could be if a male protector male, female protector male, uh, mama bear, however you want to look at it, and um, they're at the same time. With the Mars, you know, they uh, 
like you may often never see what they're doing and they also be hella wheels and and uh sack i don't know um it's got to be just it's an amazing combination here guys um and i don't see any reason why it won't meet you well <laughs> but i have a scorpio venus so i don't know uh scorpio mars don't scare me um let's see what we have here this is core values ace of cups i'm feeling about that right out of the chute and oh my god they hanged me on okay i was almost i'd love to see the fool again here just look but the hangman will do because you know we're both kind of in the same position beginning and ending the reading in this ace of cups so this is someone whatever it is that they do and i think this is kind of indicated here from the time they were probably in school you know uh, not even college, high school, junior high school, even. I think your person kind of knew that they sort of were different. And they, they dreamed about something that wasn't 9 to 5, wasn't, you know, there's something that they had in them they wanted to do. And with this uh, Scorpio Mars, the planet of action and will, and this uh, Leo, which is the lion, can go after it, has heart. You know, I think they, they really... This is someone you could say they really followed their own uh, course. And um, whatever they're doing, it's very much um, exactly what they want to do. That's what this Ace of Cup means here. So in terms of like the household and stuff, I don't see someone going to have a large opinion about that particularly. Um, but I do see someone that whatever it is that they're doing, whatever they're involved in, whatever energy they're doing with their life, is very very important to them you know very important and i think um expect to be a part of that um and you may find that whatever it is that they do it's kind of seasonal or cyclical uh and um you know this could also be the uh, energy of a creator on many levels or writers you know musicians even you know where you know all of a sudden you call your buddy say uh we're booking uh studio i've got all this stuff coming on and i gotta go do it you know maybe even sitting it out for a while you know or suddenly this stuff comes and you gotta write it all down you know um, but this i mean for them it'd be something to do like with their mindset here too you know um i get the feeling this is someone that can really go after what they want you know with this uh, leo sun that's really grounded sort of emotionally um, and this Aries moon, um, and this joke, this fool card here, uh, I think too, um, they can really go for it. Like, at the other, here's a story they might tell. At some point, maybe more than once, they would have gone for it to such a degree, whatever that means, that their people around have been like, oh my God, uh, like whatever, like pushing something, pushing their limits. Uh, it could go so many different ways, but likely prevailing um, but, uh, and so be a natural process for them to, you know, go through, uh, glow ups and, and shut down and glow up and shut down and that cycles. Wow. Thank you, uh, guys. Um, appreciate it. Give me a like, thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a friend. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thank you.